Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me for this exclusive one-on-one -on -one spotlight interview. This time, we go back to Petrolia once again to talk to Mark Payne. Mark Payne is the musical director for the Victoria Playhouse in Petrolia, as well as he's currently performing in a performance called I Love a Piano. It's been so popular that they've added more shows. It continues on to August the 30th. But we caught up with Mark, and we're going to talk to him now in this exclusive one-on-one -on -one spotlight interview. Take a look. Well, this week we're very fortunate to be sitting here with a very entertaining, very talented man from the Victoria Playhouse here in Petrolia for the Spotlight interview. And you might have been hearing about all the rave, Mark Payne. Thanks for joining us here. My pleasure, Dave. Great to be here. It's really nice to talk to you. You know, we've, we've conversed before and been involved in some things together before, but uh, it's nice to get to know Mark Payne a little more on the personal side of what you're about. Where, how did you get started in music and everything? Well, you know, I mean, I've been involved in music since I was a little kid. Yeah. And, uh, but, you know, professionally, once, once I reached my late teens and I knew I was going to do this for a living, yeah. uh, then I started taking it really seriously. Yeah. And uh, my studies at first were all classical. And just through serendipitous chance, I ended up meeting people involved in the vocal world. Right. First of all, with opera. And I sure. spent years coaching opera. And uh, then was fortunate enough to hook up with both the Davids here at the theater yeah. <laughs> in Stratford a few years ago. Right. And as a result of that encounter, we started working together. And that's all sort of led us down this it's path. Really, and it's really been a great here. relationship for everybody involved. Oh, my. It's been fantastic. Yeah. You You've know. been labeled... Um, the VPP's Liberace. <laughs> where did I ha where did that come from? <laughs> oh gosh! I mean, first of all, that that that's that's a huge compliment, sure. and, and I'll I'll take that, I guess, for sure. But uh, you know what? It's I th I think it stems from the fact that uh, I I do a lot of different things, and I, yeah. and I have a fair amount of showmanship at the keyboard. Yeah. So it's it's not just sitting playing the piano. There's 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 uh, you know a, a I enjoy comedy and and uh, having some fun and interacting yeah. with an audience. Um, plus, I still get to rely on my training as a pianist right. and and get to present. And those are good points know. that you bring up, Mark, because you know we were talking before we turned the camera on that. Okay, here's somebody playing the piano. You know what's right. exciting about that? I mean, other than being a great pianist, you really bring some. You've got a great sense of humor, and you bring a lot of that. A lot of interaction going on. Yeah, you know what? I like to have fun. Yeah, um, it shows. I've, I've, always, I've always been serious about my piano playing and, and studying piano playing and, and getting my technique to the highest level I can. But on top of that, I love to have fun. And yeah. I love to, to work with a crowd and, and have fun on stage. Yeah. Um, so this show has given me the outlet to really, to really do that. Yeah. I get to play in all sorts of different genres. I get to sing. I get to act and wear silly costumes and, uh, <laughs> yeah. and, and get close to the audience. Now, you so. say different genres. Honors, can you give us some examples of what we're going to hear? Sure. Uh, if you come to this show, I mean, first of all, there's lots of great piano music. You're going to hear everything from ragtime to jazz to pop to rock music to classical piano solo playing, uh, folk music, opera. Yeah. I sing. I play it all basically in one show so yeah. if there's one thing you like you're gonna love it all because it all centers around this awesome instrument yeah. but morphed across all these genres it's it's a hoot yeah what's your favorite part and this is a tough question great what's your favorite part i know sorry <laughs> to put you on the spot what's your favorite part about live performance oh live performance it's um it's it's the audience yeah it's the energy that comes back from a crowd and it feeds you and then you feed them and there's this circle that, that is just, it's, the energy is, yeah. well, you, you can hardly describe it. And but it's, it's, so different, it's so different from just playing and recording something right. and listening to a CD, right? Yeah. Um, you can take the same performance and throw it into a live room and all of a sudden that energy that comes from everybody and it's, it's palpable and it's awesome, yeah. Now while a lot of the shows, you know, obviously, going through a show there's you know the same songs and everything but yeah. is each show just a little bit different do you do you throw something in different each time i mean the tunes are the same right yeah. the show is the show it's if you go to see a musical you see right. the same musical but the um the way the crowd reacts dictates yeah, a lot of nights you know where i'm going with with certain moments yeah. and and how i'm shaping phrases and how i'm singing a tune is just that little bit new and different every night based on what the crowd's sending back 
my way, right? Yeah. yeah. What about um, other people involved in this performance? Uh, is there, can you give us a clue of what else might be going on? Sure, on stage? I can't tell you everything, or I'd have to kill you. Of yeah, course, okay. Right? Of course. But, <laughs> 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 no, we've got uh, I've got awesome special guests. I've yeah. got uh, another pianist who joins me, and we do some duets. Great. We pay tribute to Victor Borga a little bit. Oh, nice! And uh, and of course Liberace, and uh, and a few of my own arrangements that we do together. And then uh, this weekend, I've got Janet McEwen, a fantastic singer, oh, wow. um, coming to join me for some numbers. So uh, we feature her with some things that she's done on Broadway, and we also feature uh, some duets that we do together. So nice. it's great. Plus, I've got, of course, the awesome Starbright Band. The, yes. the band that people have come to know and love at the Playhouse. Yes, for sure. Uh, these players are unlike any others. I mean, they're all great players, but they also go that extra mile to give you what you need dramatically yeah. on stage. <laughs> and they love it as much as the rest of us. So with Mark Laban and uh, and uh, Dan Berg backing me up in this show, th those guys are fantastic. Yeah. Great stuff. Yeah. Give me two of your favorite influences. Two of my favorite influences. Um... I would, you know what? A great performer and an awesome piano player, Harry Connick Jr. Absolutely. Love that guy. Just, Wonderful. Just what a musician yeah. and, what, and an entertainer and what a great arranger. Yeah. Wow. Just amazing. Um, but, you know, if you go back further, I'd, I'd have to list too many classical pianists yeah. as, <laughs> as, as influence. I mean, you know, a, a great from the, from the distant past who didn't live a long life but was an incredible performer was Dino, Dino Lepati. Just okay. an awesome piano player. Um, but you, I mean, look at people like Art Tatum, just a great stride piano player, yep. and just, oh my gosh, or uh, Vladimir Horvitz, one of the giants oh, wow. of classical music. I mean, those those are my sort of past influences, and then you get to people like Harry these days that are yeah. just uh, great performers on stage. Well, I know we're in yeah. for a great performance because you can you can see the excitement coming out of Mark Payne here, <laughs> and uh, I know we're going to bring that to the stage once again. I'm going to be here Friday night with some friends and family. So awesome! Make sure you say hi. For, absolutely, I will for sure. Mark Payne, thank you so. Much. Great to see you, man. Looking forward to the performance. Exactly. You've got to get out here. And firstly, go to the vpp.ca and we're going to give you some more details on how you can get out here. It's only on till August 30th. You don't want to miss this. Let's go back and we'll talk some more about how you can get your tickets. Well, thank you to Mark Payne for giving us his time here on this exclusive one on one spotlight interview. Mark is currently, of course, once again performing until August 30th out at the Victoria Playhouse. You can go to the vpp.ca for more details, and that's where you can get your tickets as well. He's also currently in rehearsal for another upcoming performance he's involved with called The Fiddler and the Crooner. That's coming up in September. So get there, get your tickets. Don't miss this amazing performance of Mark Payne's I Love a Piano. This has been an exclusive one-on-one -on -one spotlight interview on the Video Show Network. Thanks for watching.